Hey guys, good morning. It's Callie. Uh, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd give you an update and let you know what I've been doing this week. Um, and at the end of the video, I'm going to talk about a giveaway that I'm hosting uh, as a thank you for you guys. I finally reached 100 subscribers and my mind is blown. Um, I know for a lot of you guys who do this and have been doing this, um, well, you remember, I'm sure, that milestone, so pretty special. Anyway, uh, I've basically been housebound this week. In upstate New York, it has been freezing, freezing cold, and while there hasn't been a lot of snow or icy precipitation, um, we did get some last week, and I'm basically looking at an ice skating rink from my front door to my car, um, so I need assistance when I get out and about. I thought you guys might be interested in seeing uh, what I use. I told you I no longer use my prosthetic. Um, I use a wheelchair at home in the house, but when I go out, I do use my crutches, even in the snow. Um, these crutches, it's amazing. I'll talk about the auction in a little bit, but these are called Millennium, Millennial Crutches by In Motion, um, by Millennial Medical. And these crutches have, they're spring-loaded, so I literally have a spring in my step, and when I push down on them, it's low impact, and they kind of have a shepherd's hook, crook, at the top, um, which is a little big. I wish it were about, I wish this much of it were off of it, but anyway, sometimes it gets caught on things. But these are great crutches, and these were a recommendation from someone that I met at the auction who uses a cane and is familiar with adaptive devices, but this is how the foot normally looks. It's dirty. Excuse me. I was out last night at the auction, but this is what I call my snow tire. And it almost, when I, I got these on Amazon and I've literally had this thing for over four years now. I have two of them. Obviously I use two crutches, but I'll show you. It looks like a, look, it's just stapled in there. It looks like a milk cap, kind of. It's that kind of plastic. And they have these little nubs, metal nubs on the bottom. And this is what saves my butt. Um, again, this just looks like heavy-duty staples. And on either side are these elastic, not elastic, but, you know, rubber things that strap around the bottom of my crutch. And then I'm able to flip this over to the bottom so when I walk, that'll catch in the in the snow. So I use those, and then on the one foot that I do have, <laughs> I put this thing, and it's called a yak track. Yak tracks. And they're sold in a package of two. I'm telling you, somebody needs to market to amputees selling only one item. I keep saying that. I should just do it. But I put this on the bottom of whatever I'm wearing and just strap it on really quick. It Velcro's on, and that gives me more traction, too. But still, bipeds, people with two legs, were breaking their butts uh, all over the roads up here this week. So it's been hard to get out, but I did get out for a little bit. And, okay, let's see. Enough of that. Uh, art this week, I'll tell you. Uh, being ho homebound, again, has been a good thing because I'm I'm just so blessed every day I'm going to shut up I sound nauseating about it but that I get to you know do my art and I feel like a little kid and I can't not do it anymore like I wake up and I feel like I have to make art I have to do something uh, there was one day this week that I didn't do any art and I felt really unsettled about it like I was doodling just to get a fix but um, let me just show you quick one of the first things that I worked on this week and again, you guys who found me, I did not paint this, so don't get excited. I wish I did. This was a postcard that I just put in. But what I'm showing you is the frame. And this was one of the auction frames that I had gotten in a box lot for a dollar. Real old. Uh, this is wood under here. And I just altered the crap out of it. And I finally stopped with it. I was going to keep going. I was going to kind of try to steampunk it out maybe put some keys or metal embellishments or things like that, but I didn't. I stopped. Um, this is drywall tape, which is so much fun, and those of you who do mixed media use it a lot, I know, for texture. So a piece of drywall tape. There's also another one embedded down here. If you look close, and again, these things with the texture, they're so great to see, but 
Did some drywall tape, did some texture paste. I made some homemade texture paste for the first time with baby powder and Elmer's glue and water. Um, I used Jenny Belly's recipe. Um, some paints, some dye. And then as I was doing this, I looked up on my shelf and I saw I had a bottle of these uh, dyed eggshells that I've used for other crafts. And I put some of the dyed eggshells on there. So this, of course, is hanging in my bathroom. And I love it, and it looks so cool, and the texture is so cool. So I was really happy with that. And that's one thing I did. I did a lot of my art journal, my junk mail journal, and I'll show you. But before I do that, I'll show you something else. Um, I have a huge box and bag and bottle of buttons from my grandmother that my mother had given me. I actually got really emotional when I got them. But I started fooling around with them, and I thought, Maybe I could make a necklace or a bracelet or something. So I just kind of did a little bit of this. And then I thought it would be cool if you could add, these are just little ideas, some glass beads to them, maybe as an earring. I don't know. There's a million uses decoratively. You could do a bunch of those and hang them as a fringe on something or whatever. So I was playing with that. And then I never put down the galaxy stones um, but these I tried to do, well, I didn't try to do, I did, oh, excuse the glare, I'm in front of the window again. But these, I took, uh, just a piece of magazine, that was a dress pattern, somebody's dress, and just Mod Podge them to the back. I did a few of them. Some of them came out a little murky and hard to see, and I wasn't really so knocked out. You can barely see that. Um, I don't know. I'm going to stick to the enamel and the nail polish. I really like that idea. And then, again, this junk mail journal, which I'm adoring. Um, and it's as it's getting thick, look what's happening. The, this, uh, and this, I told you this was a paper towel that had just been Mod Podge. But I'm going to have to recover this. And I think I'm going to do it in denim or a cloth. Um, so... I never decorated the cover, so it shows you I probably knew it was going to happen. But I'll show you what I've been working on this week. Um, I did. I have been using Claudia Rossi's stick prompts, again, just to challenge myself. Because if I didn't, I think at this point I will be, I would be, all my art might look the same. But I am using her prompts. Um, again, there's that drywall tape. I made a Jenny Belly flower with one of those buttons again. There's some texture paste on this. Um, there's my rivet, or eyelet. Um, my oldest daughter, Rachel, will recognize this. And, um, we got this on a, I was a chaperone on a school field trip she had when she was probably in third or fourth grade. And we each bought one of these wooden hearts. And I still have mine, Ray Ray. Do you have yours, honey? So, it's hiding under there. And the word that's under there is inspiration. And this flips up and actually... On the other side of it is something that I had hanging on my refrigerator. Uh, you know it's been a good day when you didn't have to unleash the flying monkeys. And we can all relate to that. So I just kind of embellished that. And that was that page. And then I did another one here in no particular order. Um... Again, using these prompts, I'm doing things that I would never try on my own. So it's kind of forcing me out of my box. Um, this woman I drew from a magazine page. I'm not used to trying to draw realistically. There's my buttons again. Um, this was a... Moths are so beautiful, aren't they? Uh, but there's a lot of layers here. There's a lot of texture... I'm very grateful. I'm always <laughs> forever grateful. And uh, I'm just, I'm loving this book. I'm really so happy I did this. And I have been saving up my mail this week, or this month, for my next one that I'm going to do next month. But here's another page I did. Um, some book text. And my homemade washi tape again around the edges there. This was a picture that I drew from a cover of, I don't know, I think Marie Claire magazine or something. So trying to draw uh, outside of my comfort zone uh, and more realistically, if you will, I don't know, 
it can only get better, right? If you keep practicing, I'm hoping, she says, hopefully. Um, what else? I did this one yesterday. Uh, there's a lot going on here. This is my tree girl. Uh, sh I just did her out of my face, out of my head. Um, here's another tree down here that came from an envelope from a renewal subscription for Mother Earth magazine for me. Here's some hemp twine. Um, again, these are much more fun in person. There's tissue paper over things. Believe. Believe in yourself. Believe in your dreams. Believe in fairies. Santa Claus. And, uh... This page I showed you before, but I keep adding to it. I added Ganesh and a lotus. And I don't know. There's a quote from Rumi. Forget safety. Live where you fear to live. Destroy your reputation. Be notorious. Rumi. This page is my most recent that I'm working on today. I'm hoping to spend some time with my grandson. He's off tomorrow for Martin Luther King Day. So I'm hoping that he comes over tonight to hang out. And maybe we could do some art together. Although he'll probably just want to play Xbox. It's hard to avoid. We play a lot of board games and things like that and stuff. But here's another one I did. Balance and Harmony. Um, another looking at a magazine. Um, trying to draw realistically, whatever that means. Um, using the prompts from Claudia to take me outside of my comfort zone. Otherwise everything would be purple with stars and moons. Um, and that's it for the junk journal, um, this week. That's what I've been doing there. Um, so I showed you that, I showed you that. Uh, the auction. Went to the auction last night. Thank goodness. Can't stay away too late. Um, I only bought one thing, but I came home with a lot more than one thing. And again, like anything that you do, I mean, in the past, I've used to go out and spend, you know, any place you go, whether it's a bar or church or a group that you gather, your coven, anything, um, you know, becomes your family in a way, your workplace. And you have relationships with people that you would normally not ever know. So we've, we're getting our auction family and we get closer and closer and it, it's a blast. And so I'm coming to really love going there, uh, not only for the fun of what we get, but for the relationships that we're forming. And uh, anyway, one of the people that I've reconnected with that I've known in the past, but I've mentioned a few times on here is Patty Greco, my friend Patty from the funky hippie chic boutique in Monticello and um, Patty is becoming a dear friend and she gifted me last night with this beautiful we have the same taste at the auction so we we laugh and she's just wonderful performer and woman and Patty made this beautiful pouch for me uh, I wish you guys could see this in person but it is just I'm blown away and she made this gorgeous gorgeous pouch and gifted this to me last night and I almost started crying um, and I'm so blessed along with these gorgeous look at these candles she sells these in her store uh, I, I just was like a kid and speaking of her store I'll give you a shout out all the time Patty check her out on Facebook check her out online check her out in person um, her and her husband Jonathan are wonderful people and so I got some presents last night and I just thank you Patty oh my god and speaking of presents I talk about my friend Kat who works at the auction and I love her to death and she um, came up to me during the night and gave me this and I Thank you so much, Kat. I love you. Um, I I'm just so blessed. I have amazing people around me. I'm going to tear up. I'm going to not tear up. Anyway, thank you. So that was great. What did I buy at the auction, you ask? If you care, if you're still here with me, which I hope you are. 
you know my videos go on I, I can't I'm averaging like I don't know 25 minutes a half an hour but I'm doing my best here folks but I'm really enjoying this and I hope you are too so I'll talk about my editing failure attempt in a minute but let me finish up with the auction so what did I buy um there were a lot of different people there last night and so I lo I did bid on a few things that I did not get but one thing that I did get and I told you I need to stop I have a bowl addiction um, but this wonderful, uh, some type of Bodner, Bodner, GG Bodner design, USA. Um, anyway, this I just thought was a super cool serving tray, or even, again, you could use something like this as a succulent tray to do some planting. You could make a fairy garden in that. Um, you could do a lot of things, and I'm sure I will. So, um, got that. And my boyfriend, Tom, bought a dresser last night. I believe he paid a grand total of $10 for this old oak dresser. Um, freaking amazing. Oh, my God, if I needed furniture, I wished I'd known and before I moved. But they have everything dirt, dirt cheap. But in the dresser that he got were a few things that I was tickled pink and happy to take. One of them being um, this book by Drew Barrymore, Little Girl Lost. I read this book back when it was first published, probably in the early 90s, 1991. I love Br Drew Barrymore. Uh, she's so cool. And this was a good story. And she co-wrote this with a guy named Todd Gold. I don't know. But it's basically the story of her addiction. You know, she basically was in rehab at the time she was, by the time she was 13. and But really cool uh, story. That was in the dresser. And also in the dresser was, I love wind-up toys. Was this guy? Remember him? What's his name? And he works. He does work. So, him. Again, it does not take a lot to amuse me, folks. Um, a... These are so cool. A travel alarm clock. Uh, look, with the poisonous, luminous dial. A lot of women... I, I don't know, saw a documentary somewhere about all these women who got throat and uh, mouth cancer f who worked in the factories who painted this luminous paint on these dials because they would wet the paintbrush in their mouth and then put it in the paint, and the paint was radioactive. Not a great thing. So this is probably a poisonous clock. But what I do with them, uh, speaking of poison, is I will smash this apart and hope to get any gears and fun things out of it um, to use in a collage. And there were two of them, and my stepson Nick took one because um, he thought it was cool too. So I got that. And then my favorite thing that you, you can't make this up. It has a headband, but I'm not going to put the headband on it. But it was made for me. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's supposed to be mine. Ah, <sighs> Giving in to the stereotype that all witches are ugly and have big warty noses, right? Instead of beautiful, sexy women. Uh, wonderful, amazing, powerful, strong women, but that's too threatening, so we need to make them ugly and old crones, but thank you, Hollywood. But anyway, thank you, Margaret Hamilton, though she did do a great job, ugly as she may be. Okay, the giveaway. Oh my God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't say thank you enough. Uh, for you guys who are here with me at the beginning, I hope you stick with me through my history here. Um, I plan on having a history here. And my poor editing attempts, oh my god, last night I decided to do a test video of a tour of my bookshelf. I did do a test video, a tour of my living room bookshelf. And I wanted to use the, that video as a test to learn how to edit. And I can read and watch videos and things like that, but I'm a hands-on learner. So it's easier for me to just dive into territories unknown and try to figure stuff out. Well, that was a mistake. I got two clips that I was successfully able to s splice together just by dragging them together and magically they it worked that they flowed. But no segue, no fade. 
Um, lots of footage that, you know, if I really knew how to edit, it would have come out professional. But when I uploaded that video, I normally when I film these like this one, I will, I don't, I'm not going to edit this, sorry folks, but I'll upload this straight from my phone right to YouTube. And it doesn't take long at all. It takes like maybe 10 minutes. When I uploaded that video from my phone to my computer and then from my computer to the YouTube editor, from the time uh, uploading took forever and then the t it processing took hours. I started that in the afternoon, went to the auction, came home, didn't go to bed till midnight last night, and that video was still processing. Why does that take so long? Is it something I'm doing? Do you guys experience that too? Um, anyway, I'm going to keep trying to do test videos, and luckily I was able to make that private initially. So um, I didn't have to, you know, I decided to make it public just because you got someone had asked about sharing that. But So anyway, I want to thank you for being here and subscribing, and I want to say thank you. And I'm going to run a giveaway until the beginning of the month, which is like two weeks, right? A week and a half or so. And I'm going to be, and it's just, it's a thank you for being here and subscribing. And the only thing you need to do to enter the giveaway is to be a subscriber to this channel, which I'm hoping you already are. Um, if you're not, be a subscriber. And then, um, it would be nice if you like this video, but you don't have to. Like it if you like it. Uh, be a subscriber and leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite song is you could only pick one song which is like so ridiculous but leave me a comment below letting me know what song your favorite song is and you'll be entered and that's it so I'm gonna run and run this giveaway until February 1st and what is she giving away you ask I'm going to give away a $25 Visa MasterCard gift certificate which you could use for anything from gasoline to groceries to new art supplies um, I'm going to give away one of my Galaxy stone wire wrapped baked marble spiral charm necklace window dangle whatever you want to use it for uh, one of those I'm going to give away one of my bookmarks that I made um, and when I get the winner which will be chosen randomly I'll use random.org or whatever you use as a randomizer um, we'll pick it randomly but I'll let you choose what charm you want um, I have fairies and spiders and pentagrams oh my uh, and spirals and peace signs so anyway I'll contact the winner so a bookmark and a box of my one and only all-time favorite, although I do burn other incense, this is my try true We'll have forever. Love it to death. Happy to share it with you. Nag Champa incense. And I'm also, I didn't check with my mother, so mom, I hope this is okay. My mother makes amazing homemade soap. Um, she's, uh, you know, it's amazing. You find out how cool your parents are once you're an adult. And, you know, my mom is super cool. Hi, mom. I love you. But one of the cool things she does, in addition to raising her own chickens, um, is to make homemade soap. And she has this organic ingredients. I will, I'll get for you the actual ingredients that she used. I don't have, I know she uses shea butter and coconut oil and things like that. But these smell incredible. They work incredibly. They last forever. Um, so I'm going to tuck in a bar or two of... Uh, some I believe it would be hypoallergenic to its all natural ingredients and things like that so that's it you just subscribe hopefully you like it leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite song is and I will do the drawing on February 1st and I'll let the winner know via YouTube or email address or somehow I'll announce it here excuse me and then you can contact me so that is all I have for you right now this week. I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful week. Stay warm. Keep crafting. Um, and have a beautiful day. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.